to document any microbial stowaways from Earth that might contaminate Mars rock samples, Perseverance deployed its first witness tube. Mars responded by opening a sinkhole. On this episode of Mars Guy. When the Mars rock core samples are returned to Earth, they will be painstakingly analyzed for any possible evidence of life, either extant or extinct. So the Jet Propulsion Laboratory built the rover with the cleanest sampling hardware it has ever produced in order to achieve the 10 parts per billion sample cleanliness requirement. After all, finding microbes in these samples would be a profoundly important discovery, but not if they came from Earth. But even with all the major and very costly efforts to produce and maintain ultra-clean hardware, tiny amounts of contaminants can still make it on board, like when the spacecraft has to leave the ultra-clean rooms it was built in to go fly on a rocket. So that's where the witness tubes come in. They're the same as the regular sample tubes, but tightly sealed inside are materials that were cleaned and assembled at levels beyond the other sample hardware. They are unsealed only after getting to Mars, and that's what happened on Sol 499. The internal robotic arm on Perseverance pulled out one of its five witness tubes and delivered it to the vision station to verify that the seal was still in place. This was poked open at the volume probe station and confirmed back at the vision station. Next, the witness tube went into the coring drill bit and out through the bit carousel into the waiting chuck in the corer on the end of the robotic arm. All of this happens without humans in the loop. And just to be sure the witness tube gets jostled around as much as the regular sample tubes, it went through the full coring sequence with rotary percussion action, which conceivably could knock loose any contaminants in the system. There's just no actual drilling into the rock. Still, all of the vibrations of this operation got translated to the rock. And that's where things got weird. This rock had been subjected to a grinding operation and two actual coring operations. Here's Mars Guy for scale. These operations generated a tiny sand avalanche and knocked loose some bits of rock. But note that the weirdness this time doesn't include the spacecraft tumbleweed that I presented in the previous episode. The weirdness with the witness tube operation was that it opened a tiny sinkhole in the sand, the first of its kind. Here's a Swiss Army knife for scale, or maybe I should put it in this way. I suspect that vibrations finally set loose a flow of sand into an unfilled void space underneath. And no, this is not a Martian gopher hole. Perseverance continued its automated procedure, literally going through the motions of rotating and vibrating the bit, as would be done with the rock core, then presenting the result to the MassCam Z camera. The drill bit and tube were returned to the bit carousel, with the tube going through the full inspection and preparation procedure to seal it up. Once back in labs on Earth, an inventory of whatever's in the witness tubes will help scientists know which stuff on the rock core samples probably came from Earth. If Mars ever had, or even still has, its own microbial biosphere, all of this effort should help to ensure that we can recognize it. 